Yo, what is up guys? Now, welcome to the How To Play Orion. Right now, we're going to teach you the basics. So, you can, actually, uh, you can actually play with your friends. Your friend can actually add you through this menu right here of friend list. You could actually press the plus button to actually add them. Or just go to any player. Your friends list, yeah. There is no crouching in the game yet. I don't think there, I don't think there ever will be, actually. You don't think that there will be a crouching in the game? No, I don't think so, because... Judging from the uh, posts that they have made, none of them say that they're gonna add in a crouching mechanic. So there's no crouching mechanic in the game, so there's no reason to crouch right now. Your control is your special at the moment with whichever guardian you are. And about crafting, I'm, I'm gonna touch that a little bit later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so we'll do medium or hard. So right here you have a bunch of maps they could choose from you could like choose any map they only they only got like two modes at the moment they have harvest and survival harvest is where you protect a harvester while it harvests some material and in survival you just survive for how long you can with the harvester if the harvester is down you lose survival and you can't recover it within the time you can recover the harvester yeah exactly so the basic controls is W forward, A is for left, D is for right, and S is to go back. The X is to try any emotes. You can actually suicide. Let's see that. Yep, you suicided. Let me see if I can find my body. Their most recent emote that they add, added. Yeah. Enters the chat. And you can also press U for in-game party chat. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, shift is to run. So yeah. Right now we're in summit. Right now you'll start off with a top-down point of view. If you want to change that, simply Whoa. press F1. Then if you want to go to first person, press F1 again. F1 twice to go to first person, F1 once to go to third person. Yes. From, from top down. From top down, yes. So what you have in the corner right there, says your character, you got your... You got your Defense bar, you got your health bar, and you got the X right there. You got your halo shield. Your halo shield, yes. And it regenerates unless it breaks. It regenerates unless it breaks. You see a forward sign, you also see a, uh, a little man running. That's supposed to be your, health, uh, your stamina meter, but they haven't really implemented that shit yet. If you want to use your grenade, press G, but remember, you got a cooldown. So you can't really spam your grenade. It's like a minute, or no, like 30, either 30 seconds to a minute cooldown. If you want to use your uh, your guardian special, just press control. Look at me go. See, I have the assault guardian, so right now I could actually use a jetpack. Go, go, go. And it's like all the, the, gren oh, the grenades are different, by the way. Really? Yeah, the gr all, all the grenades, like the assault. The assault dude has the grenade that actually kill, hurts the dinosaurs. Hmm. My character, the scout, has this bomb that restores health to the to the harvester. And then the support has the smoke grenade. Hmm. So if you right click, you can actually not actually aim down sights, but actually focus more on the target. Just yes. By a little bit. Just by a little bit. Unless you have the sniper. What in the world? Ow! Good job, everyone. You have three top buttons. You got number one, number two to change your pistol, and number three for a regen gun. So you could heal yourself, or you could heal a teammate. You could also use scroll wheel to switch weapons. Yes, but you can. But you have to press three to use the regen gun. To reload, you got your usual stuff. E is, to, is your U, is your interact button. Yep. Hold he is space, interact. Hold space to roll. Sideways or back. You could also use the regen gun to actually heal the harvester. You're definitely gonna need that. Definitely gonna need to do that a lot. So since I'm the scout, I have the bomb that heals the harvester. Which is an EMP apparently. Mm-hmm. So 
that's a thing. And then the support has a grenade or has a smoke grenade, which disorients the dinosaurs. It's hilarious to me, at least. Mhm. Mm and I just have a regular grenade. Oh, and the reload. Remember about the reload. Yeah, reload. R. The icon with the reload. Yeah, there's a little refresh icon right next to uh, your health bar. That is your reload, and when you're shooting, you can actually see it going down. Yeah. Okay, you got C to teleport. C to teleport, V to use your knife. Oh, that blue bar that's around your character uh, picture. Oh yeah, the blue bar. That's, that, that's how long you can use your special. Level 14, oh my god. Oh yeah, and do not be afraid to pick up the orbs. The orbs are actually very useful. They could give you a speed boost, reduce damage, and um, increase damage in output. Speed boost. Speed boost, yes. Oh yeah, and these little th beacons, those are actually materials or augments that you can actually pick up. You see those two little exits that are right there in the right of the corner? If you see a check mark, that means the other person is ready to move on to the next wave. So make sure you ready up. Which is press R. Yeah, press R. Oh god. Oh my god, the ram invasion. Ram invasion. There's, yeah, there's little events like this all the time. So this is a little bonus mission. So after you kill all these rams or any any other any other creature that includes bonus, you get a little bonus chest. Ah. And again, these little materials, these little beacons can be used for crafting. And I'm going to touch that later on in the video. After every bonus round and you can, and if you complete it in the time limit, you get a bonus chest. This usually includes material, augments, and ions. Mostly ions. Yes. And ions are some things you can use on the ion store. Rocks are your friends. Yes, they are your friends. They could keep out all those tiny dinosaurs. <laughs> Except the ram, the, the, yeah, the rams. Those rams are dicks. You see this little red orb? You can actually pick that up and it'll give you a boost. See that damage reduction. And you can you're the only person that can see it. Yes, you're the only person. I see that right now I could get double XP. Because uh <laughs> so Defend nobody else steals done. it from you. What I also forgot to touch on is in harvest in the harvest missions, you get up to ten waves. But in survival, it's unlimited uh, as long as you survive, you know? Survive as long as you can with the harvester and your teammate. But the harder the difficulty, the less time you get to restore the harvester if it goes down. Yes. One big tip, if you're trying to shoot these dinosaurs, aim for the legs. More crits. More, More crits. criticals. No, what did I ever do to you? Ow. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> when you when your friend is down, hold R to revive him real quick. Do not. Oh my god! You freaking ram! Oh no! And you're dead. When you go to slow mo when, you, when when it goes to slow motion, you know somebody actually died. Yes, when it goes to slow motion, you know when somebody dies. Or you die. Yeah. Or you die. Blue tire. Blue timer means you can revive yourself or somebody can revive you. Red yes. timer means you're completely dead. Well, yes. And you have to wait out oh, for the timer to win. Oh my god. What the heck happened? He hit you with his tail. It glitched. Hard. Where it just throws you. <laughs> so whatever you do when, when your friend is down, do not use the regen gun. 
Go up to him. You could, but it's gonna go slower. Real slow. Just go up to your friend and hold R. Like like what White Spider said. If the if the timer is blue, that's basically a second chance. If you kill a dinosaur, you get back up. But once it's red, that mean and it goes slow mo, you're just dead. You have to wait for the timer to run out and then you respawn. Yes. And FYI, if somebody's in front of you while you're shooting, it doesn't hurt them, but it does block your shot. Yes. So beside, like you see, you have your mini map. You have the number. W oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He just jumped. So right next to your mini map you have the number of waves that, that you're on right now and the red one is the number of enemies that there are remaining. And up top where you see the shield that's like your harvester's health. And the time that's kicking down, that, that's ticking down, is the time that you have left to actually fully revive the harvester before you fail the mission. Oh, when you're getting overwhelmed, when you're getting overwhelmed by all the dinosaurs, and you want to heal the harvester, go around in a circle around the harvester, and it oh. makes it harder for the dinosaurs to hit you. Yeah, if you're if you're too overwhelmed by too many dinosaurs, just go around in a circle. It's hard for them to hit you. Real hard for them. If all else fails, just try to go near a rock and see if your regen gun is close enough to it so you could actually heal it. Hello? Hello? What? Hello. No! Hey, get away from there, bro. Get away. Get away. Right when I throw a frag, he goes away. Are you serious? Freaking dick. Oh, nice! Uh, Wild T Rex! Oh god. When you go into third person, your back is stiff. Your back is super stiff. Not even a stretch. Yeah, you. S I know you see me. I know you see me. Yeah, ignore the other guy completely. Just yes! Right! <laughs> <laughs> Get the fuck away from me. Look at me go. Nom 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 I think the T-Rex is the only uh, dinosaur to get you while you're on the rock. Yes, he is the only one. I'm out of here. <laughs> Behind you. Oh my god, what? Look at me go. that mouth though okay so if you want to check what's what's in your inventory just press i you'll see that you get some augments after the missions if you want to equip them just right click it and if you like if you break down an augment you can use that for crafting which i'm about to touch on see that you'll get weapon material generic material and common material And in the character menu, you just press escape, go to character, and you'll see that you have two loadouts. You have assault rifle and pistol, and your second loadout is combat shotgun and auto pistol. It's very different for every other guardian. You gotta remember that. Oh yeah, and if you also go to character, go to skills. Every time you level up, they give you a point. Here and now, I just got a point, so... You start off start off with one point yes you do start off with one point that's why like you, you start off with one point you get to use that point on anything in the first row then if once you use all five points it grays the other one out now if you access terminal you could go to shop ion store we which you could just get you know enhanced lockbox super enhanced lockbox and legendary lockbox like 
Your ions are the ones in the corners. Consumables, materials, these are materials that you use for crafting, roulette, and coins. These are Trek coins, these are what you use to actually buy stuff in the Trek store, which is actually very useful. It's mainly just cosmetic. Other yes. Than, other than the actual pet. Yeah, yeah. The actual pet is the only thing that actually does something for you, which you have already. Mm hmm. So, you could go to Guardians. Guardians is like 10,000 Trek skins. Yes, to unlock new characters, yeah. If you want to unlock more Guardians, you have to go to Guardians. Exactly. And they have not fixed the hats yet. No, they have not. The hats, I'm not going to show this, but the hats are not looking good at the moment. The skins, these skins, you could get them for 1,000 to 2,000 Trek. No, 1,000 to 3,000 Trek. You could also get hats. You know, the hats, you can't, you, can, you cannot see. Armors, which is basically another hat. Or you could get the hood and cloak for 5,000. And it's armor hat. and pets is completely optional. But pets is mostly the item drops that you haven't even gotten, but the pet does it for you. Or if you're too out of reach, the pet does it for you. And it's for 5,000 Trek. And the only way that you can get Trek is by completing achievements, or achievements quests. quests, or, you know, the challenges, you know? All of these, like, give you generous amounts of Trek. For crafting, go to, uh, go to character and go to crafting. In crafting, you could create all these different types of ingots, scrap, good scrap, and these are mostly used to upgrade certain materials or you can make a reroll. To make an enhanced lockbox or super enhanced, these are usually gambles, so I would usually stick with the augment rerolls to see what you actually want. They might be a little bit of a hassle, but you know, at least you don't get some something you didn't really want. See, generic material, you can actually make it from pile of robot parts. Good scrap, you could actually make that with just regular scrap and ice gems. And great scrap is with good scrap and lightning gem. And this is very useful for making legendary material. It's actually the best thing to do. Yes. And you can make many other metal ingots from generic metal, so that's very useful. And in upgrades, you could like make different. It's different. It's basically different ways of making the certain material. Like legend, like legendary material. Ah, like legendary material. I could actually make three right now. So I would need to uh, get more enhanced material to actually make super enhanced material. These are basically upgrades, so you could actually make a reroll. And when you go to your inventory, to use a certain augment, okay, augments, let me tell you about augments. Augments, in the left side, is usually just for defense, or some sort of special ability if you have legendary. The, the right side, the only ones that, are, that do not give you defense are the primary weapon and the secondary weapon. The other ones do give you some, a lot of defense. They also give you a bunch of damage output too. And if you want to use a lockbox, just go to use and right click it and then it'll give you some sort of augment. You should go to a discrete area if you want to share augments with your friends because there will be other people at that area. You don't want anybody else taking that certain augment. See right see right now? I'll just go I'll just press I for inventory, go to drop, then I'll go here to drop that. Right? Just right click it to drop it and then it'll pick it up. And if you break down, if you break down these colored, these colored augments, they give you super enhanced material, or they give you just enhanced material. You get a good chance to get good uh, crafting material to make better stuff. Yes. Thank you guys so much for watching this how-to. Thank you most importantly to White Spider for helping in to bring in some points that I haven't even said. You're welcome. And. Hopefully this will help you along the journey of getting better at Orion. Mo hopefully the tips will help you out when the game actually drops in August 25th as free to play. Right now you can get it for a dollar. I'll put the link in the description down below. 
My name is Cantor, and I'm out this bitch.